everybody welcome to my channel okay so today I'm gonna do something totally different than I've ever really done this is gonna be kind of a cloud pour type bloom I guess I've been watching a gal called Rachel Miller uh, I think it's color splash Rachel Miller and she does these this is a cloud mix um, it's really thick, probably too thick, <laughs> but this isn't going to be your typical, hopefully this will work, um, this might be a little too thick, I couldn't really tell on hers, how thick hers was, so, let's just get some on, and I'll kind of tell you as we go, um, this is mixed with Satin enamel, artist loft white, uh, soft body white, and American Floetrol. And that's it. Oh, I may have put a little bit of my store bought medium in there, but not enough to make a difference, I don't think. Now, let's just get this on here. Let me go ahead and make it thin as I can get it, I guess. So my colors are all just paint and American Floetrol. And this is a Extreme Sheen Blue Sapphire, this one. And it's probably leaves probably a two second trace, I want to say. This one is called Master's Touch Viridian, and that's this one. Well, it's a little bit thicker, probably. All right, this is a Prism Pour. And it's called uh, something raspberry, but my label got messed up, so I don't know the whole name. I apologize. This is another prism pour, and it is platinum rose. What an amazing color. Okay, hopefully that'll work. And the last one is also a prism pour, and this is deep amethyst. Deep amethyst. Okay, so um, I'm basically just going to do colors all around, I think. I think we'll just do some swirlies, get some color on here. This one's super pretty and sparkly. All right, that's the Platinum Rose. Now let's do the Prism Pour Raspberry. This is also a really pretty whiny color <laughs> like I don't know it just it's like a wine maroon I guess I don't know it's beautiful though all right now let's come in with some of this metallic blue extreme sheen And this is not how she layers her colors, but, you know, I can't do it exactly. I'm still gonna see the colors. 
Alright, let's do a little bit of this one. The Viridian. Don't know if that's going to work good, but we're going to find out, aren't we? All right, and this is the last one, is the Deep Amethyst. This one's really dark. All the way around with it. Okay, so there's our colors. Oh, I forgot to say, this color, I put two drops of silicone oil in it just to see what happens. Okay, so we're going to use a black cell activator for this. Um, and it still has a little bit of the ghost blue remnants in it. So I'm going to try and get that on top there. I need a good amount. And the idea is to keep the center black and blow the colors out and have it make clouds. So, let me put my thing on. Make sure I'm on low. Cool. And here. Okay, so sorry about the noise. I left it on for you so you could see. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. Okay, so I don't know why I'm so lopsided on here but okay I think we're gonna just take it for a little spin oh look at it oh my goodness that looks so cool because I just want it to be off that side a little bit so maybe I can get it Cooks it over the edge a little bit. Gurn wants to go. Well, guys, 
That looks super cool. I'm digging it. Except for right there. It's not very cool, is it? Colors are just gorgeous. I'm digging that, you guys. Oh, I'm digging it. I wonder if I can get some more cells to come up in the middle, maybe, huh? Maybe. No, I don't think there's any paint under there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. All right, this came out amazing, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And oh, I'll bring you down for a close up. Hang on. Okay, guys, here we go for the close up. Um, a lot of the white came through, kind of like pearls, right? I mean, look right there. There's a big one. <laughs> it's a big ass bro. Okay. It is nice and sparkly. I love that. I love how the they mix. Look at that little cluster. Oh gosh, I love this, you guys. This is amazing. I love it. I think I'll do it again and next time maybe I'll leave the white a little bit thicker on the base and then maybe it'll pop through some more. Now this is probably going to keep developing because from what I know of pearl pores, they just keep on developing as you go. So I will try to get you guys a dried results. See that's already filling in over there already. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Look at that big old eyeball right there in the middle. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks so much. Oh, this one was so much fun. We're going to do this again. Shout out to Rachel Miller um, for inspiring this awesomeness. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.